Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami Part 9. In the previous video, we did some stuff. It's a new day. I don't really remember uh, what we're supposed to be doing. I know we had several things on the agenda. Okay, alcohol dude wants more alcohol. Why am I not surprised? We wanted to talk to Sega Kid. Oh yeah, and we had that quest for Shine. That's not marked, but we got the email about it. No, something else. Well, we can go ahead and talk to Alcohol Guy again. See if maybe uh, this time he'll give us 11 D billion. This man's gonna fucking die. We're actually gonna kill him. Oh, that that's it. We give him alcohol poisoning and we get the last laugh for him not giving us good quest rewards. Also, import adult goods, by the way. Uh, hey, mister, you got any medicine on you? Uh, when you say medicine, do you just mean alcohol or do you actually mean... Okay, also, uh, thugs over there? Could you just go ahead and rob the lady instead of talking to my ear? He may have done this to himself. He doesn't look good. Should I get in something to regain his strength? Do you have any medicine? I mean, we have some... What should I hand over? I mean, let's not give him anything fucking crazy. Alright, we're giving you something good, but not insane. Seriously, guys, just go ahead and rob the lady. Thanks, I feel a whole lot better now. You can uh, consume a drink. Don't let it consume you. So says Kazuma Kiryu. Uh, but uh, I'm worried I did some very rude things to us under the influence. But you did lead us on and gave us 510 yen. We didn't even begin to recoup our cost. Well, a little. Yeah, uh, I knew it. I'm so sorry. Please take this as a token of my apology. Yeah, will you accept it? I feel bad if you don't. Yeah, no problem. An alertness hood. Uh, every time I drink, I end up like this. Maybe I need to quit drinking for good. Nah, fuck that. Never mind. I'd rather just die at this point. Alcohol is only okay if you don't let it take over your life. I wonder if that man can take back his. Yep. And we should also try and track down Clown Man to spend our CP. That's something that should be done eventually. What all, what all is all this, man? I don't freaking know what any of this, any of this shit is, bro. Grab a fallen enemy? Yeah, sure. That seems cool. I, I love grabbing. Take a, take a low stance, change your battle stance, guarded weapon charge, deliver a vicious uppercut. Oh god, regain footing. That actually seems kind of good. You can only do it when you're in heat mode, which is uh, slightly counterintuitive because a lot of the times if you've been knocked on your ass, you're going to have lost all your heat anyway, but uh, honestly, I kind of want to beat these guys up just for talking and annoying the hell out of me while we were doing our uh, sub story. I normally won't be doing uh, the random save people stuff. But these guys kind of deserve it, just extra. Because not only were they being uh, muggers, they were also very annoying, which is honestly a, a worse crime. The Q has to take out the trash in a very literal sense. <laughs> the running jump is just, it's never going to get old. It was a stupid idea. We won't do this again. I can never thank you enough. Please take this. A slightly a platinum plate. Yo, that's actually really good. We, you, you're the pocket circuit guy. Pocket circuit guy, I should say. Not pocket circuit. I don't know what the hell a circuit is, but yo, let me in. Bug kid. All right, let's just fucking get it over with. Tell me about your horny lady cards. Also, I don't really like the idea of him being called a well-bred boy. Like, I actually hate it. Missy, you actually showed up! 
Uh, yeah, I'm a little curious to see what this Mesu King card game is all about. <laughs> yeah, he's just curious. He's not horny. Alright, I'm sure it can be appealing to adults too. <laughs> Pretty sure it's meant to appeal specifically to adults. But, what if it isn't? It could actually be a family game if you for kids. You can play Mesu King with this machine. The story behind Mesu King is that good insect fairies need to fight against the bugs that suddenly turn bad. You use four cards to make a deck, an insect card, and three skill cards. Insect cards summon an insect into battle, while skill cards are abilities for your insect. So, uh, since you found the card for me the other day... What do you mean the other day? Was that not just a couple hours ago? I want to give you this. No comment. No comment. Absolutely no comment. I can't comment. <laughs> Are you sure you want to give me all these? Oh, don't worry. Those are all doubles of cards I have. Besides, I always love making more friends to play with. I I'm not sure I'm ready to play this. I have no clue what kind of game this is. Well, that's where I come in. I'm famous around here. People know me as Professor Messy King. Don't they know you as well-bred boy? <laughs> well, did you everything you need to know? Whenever you get a new card, make sure you show it to me, okay? I, I don't think we can do that as an adult. Professor Messy King? What a nickname. Like, are we going to get arrested for, like, distributing pornography to a child? I mean, I guess it's not straight-up pornography, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's there. And let me know if you want to play against me. Uh, sure, thanks. So, Messy King. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe we shouldn't. This is just, like, the equivalent of the cat fight stuff from Zero. Um... I mean, I do kind of like the extra absurdity of them being bugs. No, no comment. Oh, God, what? He ever how much money I spent on this stupid UFO catcher? But that thing's rigged, so it can't be won. Uh, but we already won earlier. No, I assure you, we don't do that here, sir. Yeah, then why can't I get it? He's so loud, I can't focus on my game. Oh, the, the freaking it's the, the pigeons. We gotta get a pigeon. It's absolutely imperative we attain us a pigeon. Getting pretty noisy. Is there a problem here? Welcome. I'm very sorry about the noise bothering you. Quest of D. Yeah, yeah. Customer is upset he hasn't won any UFO catcher prizes. I've been over 10,000 yen, I've got nothing. I feel like it's not even possible to win something. Maybe you're just bad. Mad cause bad? You ever thought about that? No? Oh, so that's what's going on. What do you want so badly? The white bunchan. Yeah, that's what the pigeons are called. Bunchan, I remember that. Yes, it's a bunch of bird. Stuffed white a java sparrow. Some little girl keeps asking for that white bunchan. He says she wants it more than anything in the whole world. Your daughter sounds pretty demanding. Well, you see, she's not exactly my daughter, per se. But she does like to call me her daddy, so... Oh, God. Please, please, I, I don't know if I want it to be an actual child or not. D don't let me say that stuff out loud. It's embarrassing. Uh, so you're determined because your daughter begged you. Rather, she asked for something. Of course, when she does, it's not money or something I can just buy. I think these types of games just come naturally to some people. Some are naturally good, others are naturally bad. So says Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah. I don't know, if you happen to get a hold of a white bunch on, dog, could you let me have it? What? But please, I need that white bunch on, no matter the cost. I'm begging you. Don't be stupid. Why would I want to do that for you? Because I'll pay you loads of money for it. Alright, accept it. Sorry, but I don't have that stuffed animal. Oh, really? Alright, fine. Let's get a white bunch on. We don't really want to move it at all. Okay. 
It's all in the wrist. All in the wrist. That was too soon. We are not going to obtain the white bunchon, probably. I mean, maybe. You never know. Maybe he got it good and warmed up for us. And you might be saying there's absolutely no way you're getting this thing. Just, that's what you think. No. And you gotta just do the... Yeah, we can't skip this. It's okay. You can't do it on the first try. You gotta keep the suspense up. And here's the question. Do we try and go for the same one, even though it's been slightly shifted? I think we... I think that's a used bunch on now. We don't want it. It's, uh, dirty. Instead, we want... This pristine... Little boyo. I think that uh, we maybe could have gone slightly further. But that's definitely that's more on target than it was earlier. Okay, good grip, but you know he's a little, you little fuck. You uh... I wonder if you can just make it fall down. Because I feel like that Bunchan is, uh, unrecoverable now. Because maybe we can just knock this one down into the thing. I think it's possible. I will say, the shape is not doing us any favors, because it's rotundness. That's a good grab. You motherfuckers. This man was right, this shit is rigged. It's alright. You see, our, our issue was that we were not accepting that you have to go for the hardest bunch on. We were trying to take the easy way out. And just like in life, the easy way out is not the recipe for success when it comes to Bunchan. Bunchan only respects those who try and go for the hard aspects of life. So you have to go for the one that's furthest away. And then the Bunchan will come to you. Oh fuck you little piece of garbage. I hate you Bunchan. Bro how the hell am I supposed to get that shit man? Also, why the hell is this crane talking to me in the first place? Okay, just just knock it down. Just knock it straight down. This is all I ask. Oh my, his stupid hat. It's like it won't go down far enough to get a good grip. I am filled with rage. Alright, oh, I guess we like cut now. We'll do one more one more attempt and then we'll pause. So I'll probably it's like leave and come back to reset the positions. And this is when he's gonna be like, oh when I said white bun shine, I meant one that has a white hat, not a white body, dummy. This one doesn't even count. This isn't even a real bun shine. This is actually a nun chan. But you can't you can't get under there. Oh my god, you little fucking piece of garbage. We we got it. No, I wasn't recording. I think we got it. We knocked it down from the top row. They both fell in? Oh my god. The legendary UFO Claw has logged online. It was basically the one in the very far back. We just tipped its tail. And it went tumbling and tumbling down. I do not think it's actually possible to get it any other way. Like, I don't think you can actually pick it up. But I do kind of remember, because I remember these things in Zero. And, like, I remember being able to get them. But it seems, like, actually functionally impossible to actually just, like, pick them up. It was just, like, you have to, like, knock them over. But do we actually get two of those bad boys? You can upgrade abilities. We did get to. Looky there. 
You are, do, do you have the white bunch on for me? If you ask me to get a pink one after this, uh, we will be fighting. I promise to make it worth your while. If you give me one, I, I need like 10 minutes of my time back. I have that stuff in what you want. R really? Please, I need it. One million yen. What should I do? Give him the toy. This is the one you're looking for, right? You handed over the Bunchan, the Java Sparrow, or White. You're a uh, much kinder of person than I thought you'd be. Wow, rude. I want my Bunchan back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if you don't mind, may I ask what your name is? Uh. Kyu. Kyu san. Got it. I definitely won't forget your name. Oh, uh, sorry for being rude. I'm Sasaki. I know it isn't much, but please take this. Yeah, that. I think barely pays for my expenses. This seems like a lot for a little toy. Are you sure? Actually, it pays for about like I think I had to do like five or six rounds. Yeah. At three hundred a pop. Absolutely, it's much cheaper than how I had much I'd end up spending trying to get it myself. I'll be sure to let you know if I need something else. All right, should we talk to Sega Kid? I don't really want to talk to Sega Kid. Oh, you can just change it to be doing this. I was just walking in and out of the store like a maniac. They probably thought, who's this like crazy fucking dude who keeps walking in and out of the store yelling about Bunchon? All right, just let's just do it at least once. First, you can try a practice game with me. Am I, I'm, I mean, I know I'm going to regret this. The question is, how much am I going to regret this? But first, each Mesu King gang calls a hundred yen. That okay? Uh. Yeah. Great. First, I'll explain the basic gameplay. I'll choose attacks in a set order. Rock, scissors, and then paper. You want to choose attacks to beat them, mister? Attacks to beat rock, scissors, paper in that order. What about gun? I want to choose paper, rock, then scissors, right? Paper, rock, then scissors. Got it. What in the hell is this? Bro, what the fuck am I looking at, man? <laughs> we want paper, rock, then scissors. How do I change it to not be rock? I don't know. It won't let me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what is this i don't even know what i'm looking at man <laughs> all right yep okay why does she get to wear clothes omni i don't even want to hear about a damn omni choke all right nobody can choke anything during this we said paper, rock, then scissors, but like, I don't know what I'm supposed to- Oh, uh, circle? Circle? Alright, your, uh, stag beetle has been defeated. Paper, rock, then scissors? Is that legal? We have, we have defeated the stag beetle. I mean, I guess it helps if they tell you what they're gonna do beforehand. Spider gets tangled in her own web. If you weave a web of lives, you're bound to get tangled up in it. Don't be like, see, at least it's teaching lessons to the kids. You did it, mister. You have the basic rules down. This game is basically just rock, paper, scissors, right? I played that as a kid. It's true the rock, paper, scissors is the base game, but it's a lot deeper than what you've seen so far. Is it though? Is it? Oh, so it could get pretty interesting. Maybe I'll drop by from time to time to keep playing it. Maybe we won't. That'd be great. You're always welcome to join me. I'll have to battle some of my friends next time, so try your best. Thanks. See you around, kid. Alright, we're, we're running away now. We've completed 10 sub-stories, we got an achievement, that's cool. Um, I can't resist the sparkly. It can't be, I can't resist it. A paper wasp? 
All right, so we we got that done with. Um, I want to I want to sell our plate. We we'll go to the pawn shop. See if there's anything there as well when we sell our plate for probably the gross GDP of the entire country. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Just a few trillion yen. Is that okay? You think you have that much, sir? 200,000. Almost doubled our damn net worth. Alright, maybe we will save people more. I mean, not really, but... Well, actually, we should have seen what you can see what you can buy here. Oh, we could buy uh, cards. Mm. An elder's belly warmer. I don't really know if I want that, man. I don't, I don't think I don't think I want that, man. I don't really want an old dude's belly warmer. I don't really want a belly warmer that's been used by anyone. Grant, I don't even really want a belly warmer. I didn't really get cold enough here for that. What is this? Ah, oh, the Mahjong Parlor. Absolutely not. I mean, we'll do it at least once eventually, but... Please don't fight me. I really thought we'd be able to, like... Like, by the time he realized that he was mad at us, we'd be, like, halfway across... Kimurocho. Matchmaking cafe son, have you tried uh e dating? I don't really know where the clown guy's at, because I do want to find him to do our uh CP turn ins. Because, I mean, you were, like, over here earlier. I don't know if you're still there. We can swing by. See if we run into any sub-stories along the way. It used to be, like, the shrine, right? But I don't know where the shrine's at. And that may have also been in the alternate. Like, the secondary city. Soten Sotenbori. You know, Majima's head. No, I don't want your used tissues, you freaking... There he is. Like, how how much does it take to get me the stamina upgrade? Okay, trade CP. Okay, it's 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 a long ways away. Then there's this. We're we're definitely we're gonna go all in on being able to run. Faster. Hard captor. Bottomless stomach. Gotta go fast. Alright. Oh my god, he's... Look at us. He can run forever now. The stamina of a legend. Can almost run... Uh... Okay, we could've... I had to... We had to pace ourselves there, because... These guys wanted to fight us. So we want to go to Shine. Oh wait, are you someone? I'm so tired, seriously. Suck it up! What's wrong? What's wrong? You wanna know what's wrong? My shift ended at 6, and from that point on I was working unpaid overtime. Is that legal? I had to pretend to enjoy groping some crispy old lady's wrinkled ass for hours! Sounds like a personal problem. I think Shota-san sends me the ugly customers on purpose. I'm sick of it! Must be rough. Yep. Can I play the lottery? Bro, no, no, don't that guy me. We're just, we're just like a dude. We're not that guy. We're just a dude. It's very different. Okay, now Club Shine. Where were you? I'm pretty sure you're on this alley. Bro, everyone is so mad all the fucking time. Like, just chill out. Stop being quite so angry. Oh my god, he's still chasing. Oh god, I'm stuck on your freaking motorcycle moped thing. Club Shine. Oh, there's Shine. Okay, I didn't know if it was an actual landmark or not. 
Bro, dude. How you gonna how you gonna stop me glitch out the freaking matrix? It feels like enemies are like way more aggressive than I remember them being in Zero. That could just be in my head though. Bro, don't flex me. Or don't flex at me. Or else. I mean, you saw that dude's dead soulless eyes. There, there's no way. He's completely deceased. Oh, yeah, we're also supposed to fight Majima and his traffic cone get up. There's so much shit to do. I better go to the MEB to gather information. What? What the hell does that even mean? What the hell is an MEB? I don't think that's saying do the main quest. You come by. Did you want to quit? I mean, does this mean not go to... Club Sunshine? M-E-B. What, what is an M-E-B? I better go to the MEB to gather information. The MEB. Gather information. In these places start with an M? Um. MEB. There's a Millennium Tower. That doesn't really fit, though. I don't know. No, no, no. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to look. I was trying to run. I'm sorry, dude. Your fate is your own today. Okay, Traffic Can Majima. Hello. A traffic on is huge. Why would it be in the middle of a street like that? Nani. What? What the? A Majima? <laughs> Surprise! Majima-san? Hey, Kirchan! What are you doing here? Ain't it obvious I was hiding? Just waiting for the day when you finally let the cone expose me. Then your surprise attack failed. As far as hiding spots go, this was hardly your best one. Yeah. Nah, you got it all wrong. This is perfect. Mm. What? You rolled up on me knowing I'd assault you. In other words, your fight is totally consensual. I, I guess. I don't think that's a very good logic, but... So that's the logic. Guess I walked right into your trap then. I stood still in that damn cone for so long, I got all stiff and cold. How'd you fit, man? You better warm me up good, Kiyuchan. I guess it is what it is. I'll beat you so hard, you'll wish you stayed in there. Can I pick up the cone? Okay, we can. It is actually so important that we get a, a heat attack with the big traffic cone. I cannot understate how important it is. Okay, okay, sir, 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 sir. I'm trying to... Uh, bro. I just, I really want to hit you with the big traffic cone. Like, I mean, I get why you don't want to be hit with the traffic on. I don't want to be hit with the traffic on either, but you see, the thing is, I don't make the rules. That was kind of just like getting hit with a regular traffic on, but. Yeah, unlocking those definitely helps. I win. You're getting stronger one step at a time. Won't be too much longer for you, just like your old self. You're not going all just yet either, are you? Hmm, what fun would it be beating you to a pulp? I like to take it slow when I'm having a good time. I got some other parts hiding up my sleeve. You're wrong, you think this is over. So wrong. You're really going to keep doing this. Aw, oh, crap, leg cramp. That's what happens when you stand in one place for so long. You should have found me sooner, Kiyuchan. 
Gonna walk this off. See you later. Guess I'll have to be careful of more than just giant traffic cones when I'm in the city. We've ranked up with Majima. The Majima sensor? How does that work? Scientifically speaking. Bro, what's on? We're at 30 minutes. Hmm. Well, we can definitely find some stuff to do. Bro, no, seriously. I just. I better go to the MEB to gather information. What does that mean? Is that just telling me to progress the main story? I don't know. Bro, everyone is so mad all the time. Just embrace not being such an angry boy. I will not be going to the adult video store. I'll, I will pass on that. Type the Toto building. Nightclub popular with the youth. That doesn't sound like me. Artist. Earl Finance. MEB. I mean, there's the Millennium Tower. It starts with an M. There's Purgatory. It doesn't start with an M. What the hell is the Meb? Do you know what the Meb is, sir? No? Bro, no, chill. We don't need to be enemies. We can coexist peacefully. Everyone is just so mad all the damn time. Hey, do you know what the interest of this park is? Yeah, sure. First, can I bum a sick? Do we have any? Go for it. That's good. But do you know what the entrance is? Florida. Go see a man about a horse. Why would a horse... You mean the bathroom? I don't know. I just told you go see a man about a horse. You're too dumb to figure it out. I got nothing. Interest of purgatory, try looking around or piss off. No one's gonna tell you shit. Alright. Just asking, uh, do you know where the Meb might be? Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you, Mr. Cart dude. Ah, you. Are you going into the park? That's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. You shouldn't. It's called purgatory for a reason. Your soul gets stuck there. I'm pretty sure I can just walk out. What do you mean? That place is cursed. Once a man falls down, the rush of falling becomes more enticing to struggle back up. Once you felt the thrill of the underworld, the land of the living seems dull. So I'm warning you, stay out. I have no intention of falling down, just paying someone a visit. It's your funeral. Either way, take care. Alright, we should probably save first. Here's the West Park entrance. Now to find the suited man. Hmm, probably not that guy in the suit. That must be him. Uh, also, what, what do we have here? In the, in the, in the pile of magazines. Can't really get a good look, but uh. Boy. Are you the debt collector? Wait, what? Oh, this is for that other quest thing. You'll see the one who we were just on the phone with. Yeah, that's me. You've been waiting for you. You got the past due amount of 240,000 yen on you? Mmm, nope. Yeah. I don't have that kind of money. Huh? What you're saying is you have no plans to pay us back. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't remember ever borrowing 250 or 240,000 yen anyway. Hey, for a dumbass debtor trying to default on his debt, you got a pretty cocky attitude. Even a kid knows they have to give back what they borrow. I told you, I never borrowed anything. Fine, you don't plan to pay up? I just have to beat the money out of you. No, you can't do that anymore. They passed a law back in the, the 90s that said when you punch people, no longer could 100,000 yen bills pop out. What's this guy's deal? His strength is insane! Hmm, figured you were just a scam artist. Now listen up! What is it? 
It's time for an excerpt of Kazuma Kiryu's Meditations. Tell your boss he better not ever waste my time with another of these stupid calls ever again. Uh, of course not. I'll tell him right away. Here, take this. Just please let me go. Sakura Storm. So, yeah, that's a dang katana, man. I remember that. Man, con artists are getting more and more creative with these ridiculous scams. I don't want to assume everyone's trying to scam me, but that's practically where we're at it now, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like about 90% mm, of our sub stories have been someone tries to scam Kiryu. Yeah, we've got like, we got Buku XP. What do we want? 50? 50, 50 XP? What the hell? I mean, extra HP at max HP or extra damage at max HP. I mean, we're rarely at max HP, but it's still kind of good. Take one thrown by an enemy. Do enemies ever throw us? I feel like they don't. Quadruple quick step. Oh my god. What do we get here? Be able to sense Majima's location when he's on an alleyway of Camarocha, so long as you remain calm. Okay. Oh, that's where the entrance is. Nah, Anta. Harigami Attaro. Shio Genki. No. Chanto Mitaga. I didn't see it. I mean, I literally didn't see it. I'm not lying. Okay. I was just telling the truth, but like... Okay, now that we've seen it, we can ignore it. I just didn't want to lie to you guys. What is wrong with everybody in this... Damn town. Okay, they do have guns at least. I was gonna say, like, why does everyone want to pick a fight with Kiyu? Like, look at this man. I feel like that's a very easy way to get shot, Kiyu. こっちだ。ご案内します。キリュさん。もう身元が追われたのか。サイの河原だぜ、ここは。As long as you don't come in to play any of your dang mini games, man. Oh, hello. Stuff is essential. Do we have anything to fix? Okay. Do we have anything to buy? We could buy cards. Do we want to buy cards? I don't know. I don't really know if I want to do the Mesu King stuff, if I'm being honest. A Master Ball? That's... that doesn't let me capture any Pokemon instantly. Don't freaking lie to me. I guess we could go ahead and buy them now. Just in case we end up trying to do it. What the hell is that? Don't judge me, dude. Don't judge me, weapon shop guy. All right. Yo, it's you. Oh, those are some nice, clean clothes. Be careful not to get ripped off or mugged wearing a rob me sign like that. Yo, what up? The way you're dressed, your build, your eyes. You must be an experienced fighter. 
the heck? Aren't you a little old to be picking fights? Rubbish. I'm not so bold or gonna act like a hawkish peddler. Even if we fought now, I would easily win against you. But like, aren't you, you are like your model was used in Zero. You were one of the. Actually, weren't you a Majima's fighter guy? I'm trying to remember. Who were Kyu's trainers? Yeah, yeah, you would have been one of Majima's. So if you are the same person, you wouldn't actually know each other. I'm not so dumb that I get provoked by lame insults. But if you think I won't fight you just because you're an old man, you're sorely mistaken. Huh, you're just another punk after all. What a waste. A waste? Indeed, your aura is vibrant, not entirely unlike a dragon. If that dragon were completely reawakened, I would not come out of battle with you unscathed. Right now, the dragon scales are fading and falling. I wouldn't call such an undeveloped or potential a waste. I have no idea what you're saying, and it's not like I have time to chat. Sorry, but go play Mahjong if you're lonely. Apologize if I offended you. I am uncertain of your present abilities. I will wait and watch you for a while. What? I know you don't have time to chat, so be gone with you. Damn it. What's with this old man? Alright. We'll fight you later, I guess. I know this place looks bad from the outside, but I like it here. It's home. Besides, where else would I go? I don't really need to say, but we can... I guess access the item box. I have no clue if we need this or not. I mean, I would guess no, but I guess we can keep it for now, just in case it does something. If it, like, is required to trigger, like, a follow-up side story or something. Oh, wait. Oh, there's something over there. I just hope they're not going to palm me into playing any of their dang gambling games that I suck at. Purgatory is like a coin with two faces. Don't all coins have two faces? This is the front side. Oh wait, this is actually the back. Incredible. We should add that to- Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh god, I'm so sorry! Ah! Oh fuck, run! I hide your shame, Q. You. You want information from the florist, right? It's gonna cost a fortune. You'll never make that much in your life. Um, do I want to walk over there? Do you? What, what decisions have led to us doing this with our life? To walking over to this man, looking like he's dry humping a tent? It's falling apart! Oh no, it's falling apart! What are you doing? Well, I was fixing up a makeshift house here, but I made a mistake on the measurements. Now it's not fitting together properly. It could fall apart at any moment. Only I had something I could reinforce materials with. Like, a hundred thousand yen. I had some tape from that salary man in front of the bikini bar. Maybe that would help him. Oh my god. The saga continues? Here, will this work? Gave him the super strength adhesive tape. Is this... Where'd you find this? The legendary tape? This is the tape that the manufacturer I used to work at was developing. <laughs> it's been so long. We used to say with strong enough tape you could even build a house. We threw our whole lives into creating the next generation of tape. And they really did it. I see. Thank you so much. I can die happily now. I really want to give you something. Will this work? A silver briefcase. Huh? What is this? It's a silver briefcase. <laughs> I found it. I have no idea what's inside, but that's all I've got. Oh, okay. Well then, I better get to propping this thing up. Thanks again. A oh, man really got the sad music for his tape. I love it. The undying perseverance of the human soul and all that. Anything else, uh, talk to? This place is sick. Did I already talk to you? 
Yeah, yeah. Because you're all like, ah, I'm going to rob you. And I said, please don't. It'd be pretty cool if you didn't rob me. I quite enjoy not getting robbed. You say anything, sir? Why does he sound like Jabba the Hutt? We check everything out. I think we pretty much did. Alrighty, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it here. Since we'll probably be getting into a, a story section that might last for a while. In the next video, we will, uh, push onward and go meet with the florist of Sai. What, what was your dude's name? I can't remember. The florist of whatever. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.